tomorrow, National Cabinet, top of the agenda, is going to be the Prime Minister trying to get a system signed off on, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to happen, but who knows, idiot premiers can do stupid things, which is that uh, Brendan Murphy is in charge of the former Chief uh, Medical Officer, now boss of the Health Department, putting in a system where a decision-making bureaucrat from the federal government, a decision-making bureaucrat in the state government will have a look at the cases like the ones we've talked about, and these medical exemptions about how to get over the border, be, uh, NT to SA or you know, New South Wales, Queensland, whatever it happens to be, and be able to process those as fast as possible with an emphasis on yes, Yes, not an emphasis on no. It's a start. Look, it's not a national cabinet to start with. A cabinet means that once the decision is taken, everybody sticks to it, no matter whether you disagreed in the decision-making process, that's it. It doesn't happen. And it is not a gathering of equals, as I keep saying. The Prime Minister is preeminent. The premiers are below that, but they have been raised up and they are full of their own importance. But wouldn't it get them. worse if you dissolved it? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it well, then be everyone back in their own corners? I'm not talking... Well, you well, might as well, it, Paul. Well, well if I well, can I'm say, just Campbell, out, yeah, go I can say Campbell, it, it wasn't good terminology to use in the first place. Right. But it, the way it is working, he has to take action to show that the Prime Minister is calling the shots. Mm. And it's no good saying he hasn't got the power, because he has. Okay. I've given you some examples mm. of things he can do. And the most important thing he can come out and say is, we're going to cut taxes. He can also say that we're going to let people leave the country. It's only communist countries that used yes. to keep their people in and stop them leaving the country. Do you think all those people who came to Australia seeking freedom because they weren't allowed to leave might have to try and work out somewhere they can leave here mm. and go and find some free country? It's just ridiculous. Uh, but it's, again, this power thing. And, and it's got to stop. 24-7 we get it. Mm. No wonder people are, are, are terrified of the thing. It's even starting to mess with perfectly sensible people's heads. <laughs> and they know that... Something is wrong, something's got to be done, but because it is hitting them all the time, that there's no good decision-making going on. But action has to be taken. Well, I mean, I showed this last night, Campbell, too, and we'll move on from this in a second here, uh, uh, was that uh, there was no lockdown this year for, the, uh, for things... Now, there were 55,000 deaths that have uh, been doctor-certified first half of the year, obviously heart disease, cancer, dementia, all the rest of it, right? 974 people have died of the flu or pneumonia. Not asterisk coronavirus or anything else, flu or pneumonia, OK? So we all know how communicable those things are, no lockdown, but we get all of this draconian okay. stuff in and around coronavirus. We've got to get to the point where we understand how to live with it, and living with it means, rather than counting every case every day, we look at hospitalisations. We look at those sorts of issues. But, Campbell, um, I'll give you the and last discharges. say. And discharges. Very good point, and recovery well, rates. Well, we, we, th this is the problem with the way it's been conducted because we have allowed the premiers to just fall back and, and even the prime minister on occasions on... Bit, but his health, health advice is far better. Uh, people like Dr Dr Young in Queensland sort of handing out this, this, this sort of advice. Now, Dr Young is on the public record. Uh, sort of every August in, in Brisbane, we have the ECA, the, the annual show, and it is flu season. Well, I can assure your viewers, Paul, this evening that... Every year for, for, that I can remember, Dr Young's come out carrying on about the ECHA and the flu, and I think she got a heart's desire this year because the ECHA was shut. It mm. didn't happen. We didn't, we didn't get the show. Um, and I watched with horror. In fact, my wife Lisa and I were reflecting on receiving the last two days. There's Palaszczuk talking about it, and she said, she, in her words, she said, I will follow the directives of the Chief Health Officer. You know, like... Uh. The Chief Health Officer, and I think Matt said it before, really where we should be now is that, you know, a month out from election, just hand over, we're in a pandemic, let Dr Young run, run Queensland until election No, 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 the briefing, the briefing. I mean, it's, 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 it's just, well, no, let her run it because the well, Premier said on TV she's following all the directions of the Chief Health well, Officer. Well, Matt, for the record, I mean, you didn't that say that she should leader. run the that, Look, look, no. that is not leadership, no. Paul, is my point. Yeah, fair enough. Leadership is looking at... Costs and benefits, risks, rewards. And, you know, you walk out... We walk out of the studio this evening to go home, we drive on the road, we take a risk. You know, we, we take financial risks, we take you know, risks with our families and our relationships, because that's part of life. And this, this sort of monochromatic view of how to 
protect Australia through this is uh, the reason it is going so badly wrong. And again, I'm going back at the media. This is not being well run. Yeah, but also... The... They're saying it's been well run because the, the media is sustaining that argument. It is not. The cock-ups, mm. the, the mistakes, bo- the illogical the re- restrictions, <clears throat> the differences between states... Yeah. I mean, and, and I'll make the point. But, my, all, but look, Campbell, all the cases we've got Campbell, the can bottom... be laid at the feet of bureaucrats who haven't done their job. Absolutely. Movie princess, hotel quarantine, yes. you know, you, you name it. But we then wear it as a community. No. Absolutely, yeah, but what we're we have to realise, what we have to realise, is you can be locked up forever, and when you come out, it's still going to be there. Yeah, correct. And we have to learn to live with that. And, and we need treatment. That's what 